the pressure of wind on a sail varies directly as the area of the sail and the square of the wind's velocity. When the wind is 15 miles an hour, the force on a square foot is one pound. What is the velocity of the wind when the force on a square yard is 25 pounds? So this problem deals with direct variation. And a common simple example of direct variation would be the equation y is equal to 2x. And essentially what it means is that every time x goes up, y goes up as well. And this 2 here is just the proportionality constant. So in other words, in this specific example, every time x goes up by 1, y goes up by 2. Or if x goes up by 5, y goes up by 10. So to answer our question, we just need a few variables so we can make an equation. We set P equal to the pressure, A equal to the area, and B equal to the velocity. We know that pressure varies directly, so I'll use K here for my proportionality constant, which we'll figure out later, multiplied by A, which is the area, since that varies directly with the pressure, and V squared, since that also varies directly with the pressure. And the next sentence, when the wind is 15 miles an hour, the force on a square foot is one pound. And this sentence gives us the ability to figure out what K will be. Now this problem is tricky because many different types of units are used. So our velocity is given in miles per hour, but the force on our area is given in square feet. So we need to make sure that our units are the same. And in this case, it might be easiest to convert 15 miles an hour to feet per second. So to do that, we have 15 miles for every hour. And we know that one mile has 5,280 feet. And one hour has 3,600 seconds. And now our units can cancel out so that miles and miles cancel. This is feet here, and hours and hours cancel, so that with our units, we're left with feet per second. And now plugging all of this into a calculator, we get 22 feet per second. So now that all of our units match, we can figure out what K is. And one thing to note is that pressure is force per area. So when figuring out what K is, we just use this equation, the pressure we're given is one pound over a square foot, so it's just one divided by one, and this is equal to k times the area, which is one, times the velocity squared, which we know is 22 feet per second squared. So therefore, when this simplifies, we have one is equal to 22 squared, which is 484, times k, so k is equal to 1 over 484, and with this we can rewrite this equation for pressure. So p is equal to the area times the velocity squared divided by 484, and with this updated equation we can solve what the problem is asking for. So what is the velocity of the wind when the force on a square yard is 25 pounds. And again here, we're dealing with feet. So we need to convert one square yard to square feet. And one way to do that is to draw a square where the area of this is one square yard. And that makes each side of this one yard. And one yard we know is equal to three feet. So each side of this is three feet. And finding the area of this in square feet, we just multiply 3 times 3 is 9. So 1 square yard is equal to 9 square feet. And pressure, we're given as 25 pounds per area in this case. So we have 25 
divided by 9 once we start plugging in values here. And this is equal to the area, again, which is 9 times the velocity squared divided by 484. And multiplying everything by 484, we have 484 times 25 divided by 9 equals 9b squared. And then dividing everything by 9, we have 484 times 25 divided by 9 squared. And this is equal to b squared. So if we take the square root of each side, we just want the positive case since b velocity would have to be a positive number. And after plugging this into a calculator, we get 12.2 repeating. Remember, this is just in feet per second, since when we found k, we used feet per second instead of miles per hour. And since the question originally gave us the velocity in miles per hour, we should convert this as well. So 12.2 feet per second. We know that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. And we know that there are 5,280 feet in one mile. And with this, our units will cancel out. Seconds and seconds cancel. Feet and feet cancel. And what we're left with is miles per hour. And plugging these numbers into a calculator, we get 8.3 repeating. So our final answer, B, is equal to 8.3 repeating miles per hour.